Welcome on the journey, Sagittarius. Sagittarius, let's take a look at the current energy. What is the current energy for Sagittarius? Guilty. Sagittarius, either you're holding on to some pain from damage you may have caused in the past, or someone around you is feeling guilty for the pain that they've caused you. There's this higher perspective that is beginning to develop. But you're still in the dark. You feel like maybe for some of you, it, you might be in the doghouse or this person might be in the doghouse. At one time, you were inseparable. You were so in love with your person but at this time you can sense the love is there but there's a distance between the two of you you're wondering if the relationship is in its setting phase where it, it rose so brightly, it was, it burned so brightly. And is it in that sun going down, sunset phase of, there's still good feelings sometimes, there's still love, but it's not the same as it once was because there's been a lot that has happened between two people. You and your person have had a lot of disagreements over the years. Maybe if you've to been together for a very long time, this could even just be to do with family. You may have a family member or family members who are feeling guilty because there's a distance between you because there have been disagreements. There have been situations that have caused damage and a growing riff between what once was so strong. So take it for you, whatever resonates, if it's a family member or a friend or a long-term partner or partnership, or just even a new person that you might've met, but there's already some things that you're noticing about it. Spirit is saying that stability is important that this relationship can st stand the test of time. But there needs to be something that happens to help with the situation. So let's get some more guidance. Well, try something that you've never done before. Something that would bring the passion back into the situation if it's a long-term relationship. If it's a friend, go out and try something new together. If it's a family member, I'm not so sure. Let's see, what do we have? Well, I think I'm picking up more that this is a true love. This is love. This is a, an emotional, physical, and unconditional love between two people that I'm picking up in the cards. One of you has been the chaser. And you don't want to chase anymore. Or the other person has been the chaser and they don't want to chase anymore. Dragonfly. There's a transition that you're going through in this relationship. But it's gonna take two people working together because dragonflies have four wings. So I feel as if in order to work for this relationship to continue working, it has to be balanced, it has to be fair, it has to be two people consciously putting the effort into it to make it go the distance.
dragonflies are amazing. Absolutely amazing because all of their wings can fly separately of one another. And that's maybe what has happened. Maybe one person was always busy chasing the attention of others, thinking that that's, maybe they were very insecure in the relationship. Yeah, there have been a lot of obstacles that have happened here. There's a lot of unhealed wounds that have been blocking forward movement. And I'm picking up that someone has been flitting around a lot, chasing, chasing tasty things, shiny things. All right, let's get another deck. person is scared of rejection and this deep insecurity that they have has been causing a rift to happen, has been causing them to push you away, has been causing them to run while you've been chasing perhaps or vice versa. There's a lot of painful memories here that two of you have. It's amazing that if you've been together a long time that it's survived and maybe you've gone through several transformations of this relationship, including breaking up what we have here. Will you leave me like the others? That's what they're wondering. I'm stuck in visions of being a of us being together, of us together. Why can't I tell you the truth? You've triggered me. So there are unsaid words and your partner knows, they do know, or you know that your partner is, has things that they haven't told you. Maybe you've even asked your partner, do you swear on your life that blah, blah, blah? I mean, it happens. And the fact that there's still a mask here is the obstacle. There's these triggers because someone can't be honest in the situation and there's just so much that has happened between the both of you. I am the man. <laughs> so the man has been chasing, perhaps. The man in whatever sense, the masculine energy. There has been a lot of masculine energy here. There's been two wills, strong willed individuals who are at each other's throats at times because there's more masculine energy than feminine energy in the, in the circumstance. But it has caused a lot of disagreements because of this masculine energy. And when you are t together, there's this disagreement. And then when you're apart, so there's these polarity shifts that are happening in this dynamic. You, you are inseparable, you have to be together, you attract as magnets, but then when you're together, there's so much masculine energy, there's so much passion between the two of you that it creates sparks. Yeah, passion. And maybe it's passion right now because there's a distance and a, a, a there's not a lot of closeness I'm feeling that it is creating two people who have that passionate energy for each other, but because there's relationship challenges going on and obstacles and unhealed wounds and painful memories to, that are coming to the surface, it's creating a divide that is not expressing of this passion, if you know what I mean. All right, let's take a look at the cards. What do we have? 
there's two cups. So this relationship continues to grow closer as you start to forgive each other. If there has been conflict, if there has been a disagreement, there's going to be a positive resolution in this situation. You might be dealing with cancer. There's been great sadness here. Three of, three of swords. And the two of you need to take time to heal. Maybe you need to forgive yourself. Sagittarius need to forgive this person because there has been there has been disagreements there have been painful memories created here maybe even more towards weighted towards the negative than the positive polarity these days so two people are wondering is this the end for this relationship it's your choice though. We have the wheel of fortune. So do you want the cycle to end? It's been painful, but there's so much love still. It's up to you to make this positive change. You can move this situation forward because fortune is on your side. You get to choose which way you want to spin this wheel with your words, with your actions right thoughts, right words, right actions. How are you going to express to this person? Have the star healing. This, this relationship has the right ingredients. It's on the right path. You two have had so many happy times together. I just saw 12 12. You can make these long term plans knowing that this is going to go the distance. But somebody has to be honest in this situation. Someone has to realize that that by chasing shiny things, it's not going to bring a relationship closer together because someone has felt rejected in this situation. Maybe you have felt rejected. Maybe they have felt rejected. Aw, Ace of Cups. So maybe for some of you, this is a newer relationship and you're falling in love but I'm picking up on a relationship that's been around the block a few times and had a bumpy road, but there's a lot of love. And so there's a resurgence of a relationship here. And I feel that a lot of you are growing through this relationship and it, you go through growing pains you, as you shed the old layers of the onion skin. Your intuition is developing. Maybe there's going to be a new home in the situation. A new home might help the situation. And we have the two of swords, two of air. You're trying to make a decision right now what to do. You're, you might have been pretending that there is no problem and digging your head like the ostrich into the sand not wanting to realize that you're in a stalemate situation. You have a mate, but it's a stale mate. It's stale. Something has to bring in the life again. So let's take a look. What are they healing? Spirit, what are they healing? What is this decision? Beauty. You really love and admire this person. I feel as if this person might be a Scorpio because we have the eighth house. Eighth house is Scorpio. There's a bond, an intimate bond between the two of you. You find them extremely beautiful still if you've been together with this person for a long time, masculine or feminine. 
over time, they've just continued to be beautiful or handsome. Now, the other issue here is that maybe the shininess, beauty is a weakness, that one of you is always checking out everything that's walking that is beautiful and it's creating these disagreements. It's creating this feeling of rejection that this person is feeling. Maybe this is even somebody on the outside that is stuck in visions of you being together and they feel, they see you as somebody they want to be together with, but they can't. It's, it's breaking their heart. There's Aquarius and there's Sagittarius. Maybe they want to take action towards you or you are going to take action to try to improve the situation. What else do we have? Entrapment. Wow. So somebody here may be feeling that they're trapped in the situation they're, or that they're trapped in a situation with somebody who's been trying to manipulate them. Or maybe they see you as having been the manipulator, trying to pull all the strings. This is not a nice character. There's been a lot that has happened here. There's been a lot of tests. It could be a long-term relationship. Curious about that entrapment. Let me find out a little bit more. Tell me about this entrapment. Engagement ring. Fell on the three of swords. and hammer, sabotage. I wonder if someone has thrown the word engagement or they promised a ring and has never come to that. Someone wants to get married. They want to be committed to in this relationship for all of eternity because they feel like you're their one, but maybe one of you has sabotaged this relationship and in, in, has been interrogating the other person persistently, destroying any possibility of this happening. All right. What has been the factor in this? What is this sabotage? A courting man. So maybe somebody has been courting beauties. Sabotaging this relationship. And now they once, they once one of you was once young and courting being free, not committing. And now maybe they're maturing and they're wondering whether or not they could marry this person. Whatever shoe you're wearing, Sagittarius, are you this mature man that knows they've been sabotaging the relationship because they have not been committed to this person and the person stayed hoping that eventually you would ask them to marry them but you've been sabotaging it and they know that you have your have had your eye on other loves of and have had lovers and you haven't told the truth or they haven't told the truth it could be a mature woman that was always interested in chasing after. Maybe they had a lot of suitors. 
So where is this going? Where is this going? Through each other, you find the missing pieces. So embrace this relationship. Transformation, your relationship with one another is about to deepen. Love conquers and transforms all things. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Why are you feeling this pain? Why are you wanting to remember all these disagreements when the two of you have so much love? What are you focusing on? Are you focusing on the love? All right, I'm gonna get some Oracle guidance. What is the Oracle guidance? Although a lot of these cards are Oracle cards. <laughs> All right. Free from judgment, free to love. And Gemini, I think. Communication is a factor in this relationship and maybe one of you has been judging the other. This is right, this is wrong. You did that. Well, you did that. There's been a lot of ping pong, just going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Maybe one person noticed that their partner was flirting with other people, and so then they would go out and do that to their partner. One of you has taken care of everyone else and carried those burdens on your shoulders and you're tired they're tired of caring for everyone else and giving and giving and giving and the other has been taking has been judging but has expected to be free in the situation. Maybe somebody had a lot of communication online and the other partner has seen texts, communication, Facebook messages, TikTok messages, I don't know. But something can't be undone. There's been a lot of flirting in the situation. It's a really tricky situation here. Maybe even people have been talking about your relationship because there have been a lot of insecurities. There have been a lot of changing of minds. What do you want to do? Is your heart still open to the situation? Maybe there's a Gemini here that wants to court you in the situation. but they're in two minds and they haven't made up their mind about what to do. Maybe they want to court you, but they sabotage this relationship because maybe one of you, maybe you chased this person or they expected you to chase them. I'm picking up on another story here. And there are <laughs> infinite Sagittarius's on this planet so and also people who resonate with this message will just be here as well all right let's find out I'm gonna get... what should Sagittarius do what's your guidance for Sagittarius Amber give it to God <laughs> that's your advice Sagittarius take a deep breath and on the exhale, release the situation to God, the angels, spirit, divine, for healing and answers. That's really what it's all about. To follow your joy every moment, knowing that you're alive today. Hey, you're alive. That's a great place to start. 
Now do you have food? Do you have shelter? Are your needs, your basic needs met? That's a pretty good place to be. So all of this other stuff that's been going on every day, every night, in your mind, your, your monkey mind going round and round and round and round and round and round of all these things, does it really matter? Does it really matter? Don't sweat the small stuff. All right, I'm going to, I'm getting the guidance to get you a four agreements card on something that might be able to help in this relationship. In the meantime, in, in terms of how to work with each other. Don't take anything personally, always the best advice. Refuse to eat emotional poison. Taking things personally means you pray for predators. They can hook your attention with one little opinion and feed you whatever poison they want. Refuse to eat poison. So if you're being triggered continually by your partner, you've got to ask yourself, why are you letting them control you? Why are you getting trapped in this cycle? And maybe for some of you, you have been working with people who are narcissistic in a relationship or relationships, because usually it doesn't just start with one person you meet. There are, there are the patterns, the codependent patterns from childhood that one has learned from usually being with narcissistic family members too. So you've been so used to people with those patterns that you're still trapped in, in taking things personally. So if you can step out of that, how can you step out of that? Don't take it personally. I know it's so easy to say because this is something I work on daily myself with my own partner. Be impeccable with your word, cultivate faith because trust issues are a huge thing in this relationship. To have great faith is to have great power because your intent, your will is undivided. This two of swords shows of this division. When your word isn't dissipated by doubt, the power of your word becomes even stronger. If you want to be with this person for the rest of your life, then you have to see that. Maybe one of you has the vision and the other has, has been flitting around, not sure what to do. Maybe one of you is pushing the other away because you're not getting the words that you want to hear from this person because they're sabotaging the relationship with you over and over again. Very fascinating. All right. Let's get you some healing. What is a message of healing? Tanzanite. Angelic message. Messenger. So your angels want you to know right now that you need to calm your, your body down. You need to calm your nervous system down. Maybe some of you are have childhood PTSD or you have PTSD from this relationship because there has been obviously a lot that has happened in this relationship or since your past with parents from the past. Maybe even if it's difficult and the relationship does have to end, it would be better to tell the truth that it's over for one person so that the other person can move on. That would be the best situation if there's that feeling from either of you. Maybe you can write down what you want.
one of you is an empath in this situation and I feel as if you are on empath overload. You're just so, your, your nervous system and I could feel that. Even when I, before I started this reading, there was like this jarring train sound in the background and it's just jarring. Your, your system is overloaded from giving and giving and giving to everybody else and they had agendas and you didn't have an agenda. You just gave your love freely. It's time to transmute this energy. To work on the inflammation in your body. Maybe some of you have been getting rashes or just things that have been flaring up in your skin. All right, let's end with a quote. I saw a mirroring like three, one, one, three. So you two mirror each other. <laughs> it's amazing. Definitely quite an interesting relationship. It's just like one person mirrors the other person, the other person mirrors the other person. And so there's this constant projection onto one another and it's creating this soup. Honesty, as you get older, is easier, I find because I've realized that in being honest, I'm not losing anything. Juliana Margulies, I think that's how you say that, not so sure. Set an intention today that you will offer your true self to the people you love. So, what do you want, Sagittarius? What do you really, really want? Do you want to go out and to court other people, to be single, to be free, to be, to have somebody in your life who doesn't judge you, who doesn't sabotage the relationship, who doesn't follow beauty because we all start to age. We all start to age. It's just a natural progress that's going to happen. And so if somebody is continually breaking up with, or they want to find somebody who's more youthful and go out, then why, why? <laughs> that's just good luck. Say goodbye. Bye. Bye. I am older and beautiful. I got my wrinkles now. I got some gray hair and I've earned that wisdom. Darn it anyways. One of you needs to be honest in the situation, or both of you need to be honest about the situation. And if it means that, I mean, if you know you just are inseparable, get it together, both of you. Come on, get it together, because there's a lot of love here. Just let it go, you know? You gotta each do the work. Three, 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 three. Groups family, communication. Keep growing this love. Be the person you want your partner to be. Be the love for this person. Be the support network that they, they need. Be their friend, be their sibling, be their neighbor be their partner. So what can you control, Sagittarius? You can control, and this is without, there's that box of judgment over here, and then there's your life. This is your control, and then things that are out of your control, which are other people, which often leads to judgment. How you take care of yourself is what you can control. The amount of effort you put in to something is your control. Your words, your actions, how you treat others, whether or not you follow the rules, how you handle other people's feelings, how you handle your own feelings, and the decisions you make are within your control. 
and this person and everybody else on the outside, your friends, your family members, and the people around you, what they do, what they say, what they've done, what they choose to do, how they feel, and even the weather are out of your control. So enjoy weathering the storm and enjoy the sun and enjoy just being alive today. Yay, you're alive today, Sagittarius. It's so amazing because I have such, I have friends and family members that are no longer here all around me. And the, the sure thing that's gonna happen and that's the scariest thing to face, to pull our heads out of that sand, is that really every moment is so precious. You're here. You're here today. Woohoo! And so what are you gonna do with this moment that you're given? Do you wanna spend it in fighting with your partner, being triggered, feeling guilty for what has happened in the past that you no longer can change because it's things that is not it's something that's not in your control anymore. It's done. So you can beat yourself up, you can be guilty, you can feel mad. But there reaches a point when it's like, hey, you gotta just move on from the situation and either make a decision to not be with this person or be with them. But you can't have your cake and eat it too. You know what I mean? All right, Sagittarius, until we meet again on the journey, thank you for being in resonance with me. On the journey, take care. <laughs>